Whatever we think of politicians of any background, whether they're right or left, and whether they like or don't like the views that we espouse, I don't think we should ever get into the point where we're closing down the venues for discussion or promotion of their ideas. I think it's better to hear the ideas than to uh, mute them or throw them <laughs> throw them into um, into the underground. So, although I can understand why the Brussels mayor Emir Kier who has a Turkish background and some very strange bedfellows when it comes to his political past, should want to silence Viktor Orban and his cronies, and I don't like Viktor Orban at all. I think he's wrong. I think it's, I think it's definitely wrong to be moving in at the point when the conference is starting to close it. This is, what, what, what signal does this give about uh, freedom of expression? <laughs> there is no freedom of expression. And Nigel Farage was saying, you know, that uh, he's just escaped this and he's frankly incredulous and sees this as a defence for Brexit. Well, it's no defence for Brexit. We are suffering the same nonsense with the silencing of views in the UK as well. Views we don't like, about, views we don't like those are the views we should listen to, not the views of people who agree with what we say. Sycophants and echoes. We need to be listening to people who don't share our opinions, and we need to listen to them and see, first of all, why we don't speak from the same hymn sheet, we don't sing from the same hymn sheet, and secondly, whether or not there's anything we can learn from these people. Um, either recognize that there are points of contact, there are points where we agree, or work out, you know, what is, what, what is it that we actually disagree with. It may just be we don't like the colour of their clothes. It, I mean, it's as simple as that. We, we may just have some blind prejudice. And it's really important to listen to what people have to say, even if we don't agree with them. And one of the problems with these large speaking engagements is that what we tend to hear is the slogans which have been approved. Much better to have people in smaller venues where they can sit down and have discussions with one another. That is a, that is a route towards a... Um, a discovery. And on the internet, it's so important to reach out beyond your comfort zone, to, to hear what other people have got to say, and to recognize that other people who may not share your views are nevertheless good people. There are, of course, a few blackguards and scoundrels around, but the majority of people are interested in promoting their ideas because they want to promote discussion aren't they? <laughs>